Harry, thanks for coming along. Thank uh, you, Rod. I have here the Anska Medal. Now, the Anska Medal we don't present very often. In fact, we've only presented it twice in the last 10 years. It's a medal which is given at the discretion of the council for what we call extraordinary contribution to the status of anaesthesia, which, which you've clearly done uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, so in terms of you promoting the professionalism of our, of our specialty, uh, I think we've all been particularly struck not just by your expertise of anaesthesia and diving hyperbaric medicine and cave diving, but by your willingness to go and help other people who were in need, by your courage. Now, I know that you were extremely mindful of safety. Your preparedness to take on the responsibility of making critical decisions and ultimately shouldering with others, but ultimately shouldering the bulk of that responsibility. For your, um, your humility, you know, people have been really struck by the fact that having come back, you haven't big noted yourself. Uh, you, if anything, have tried to deflect all the praise coming to you onto the others. And finally, I think your, your friendship with Craig, you know, as an example of what two, two really good friends can do to help and support each other has been really inspirational. So it's my great pleasure to present you with the Australian New Zealand College of Anesthetists medal, the Anska medal. Good on you. Thank you, Rob. Thank Welcome. You very now, much. We've got 200 new fellows here. Can I take, get my hands on it? You can put your hands on it. Yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah, now, Thank I know you. you've had a lot of um, medals and awards already, including, of course, Australian of the Year. But, but this medal is really from your colleagues. And it's, it's from your colleagues um, in recognition of what you have done as a colleague. So that, that's what it's all about. So come yeah. on. Yeah. Thank you, Rod. I mean, to receive a medal from your own professional body, obviously, is um, you know, really uh, important. And you know, make, makes me quite emotional, actually. So I'm, I'm very, very grateful for the recognition. And I know there are a couple of hundred new um, fellows in the audience. and. Um, I guess what I'd like to say particularly to them is that um, uh, for me this medal just shows what the capability of, of the enthusiast is, what, what someone who's a true generalist in our specialty but in life itself can, can achieve with um, just a little bit of um, maybe the courage to make, make difficult decisions and to um, have some confidence in your own abilities. Um, I've never considered myself, uh, you know, exceptional as an anaesthetist or as in any real facet of life, but I've always been passionate and enthusiastic about what I've done. And, you know, when I received my um, diploma or my, my uh, fellowship from the College of Anaesthetists, for me that was a, a major, major and pivotal moment in my life. Um, and I think we should be so proud of that piece of paper. Um, because of the training and the, um, you know, the quality of the education that we receive that goes into you know, producing that, that document. If I can just tell you one little anecdote about how it has stood me in very good stead. Um, about six year, years after I became a, a consultant and anaesthetist, I went to live and work in Vanuatu for two years. And on about the second week in the country there, I was presented with a, a newborn baby with a congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Uh, a case that as a non-specialist paediatric anaesthetist um, I you know, was, had considerable reservations Absolutely. about getting involved yeah. with. But the surgeon said to me, uh, Harry, in that very early time in Vanuatu, if you don't have a go at this, then this child will die and you know, there's nothing, you know, w w the, ch the child won't survive. So basically it's down to you and me and the nursing staff to give this a try. And um, we did the case and the child survived. In fact, it was one of three of those cases I did in the two years we were there. And it just made me realise that our training is superb. Mm -hmm. And I could actually um, fall back on that, the basic training that I'd received and just realise that we are all um, trained to a very high standard and should be very, very proud of that, that piece of paper. So to the new fellows, carry it with pride and um, if I've been able to inspire our profession um, and uh, make us shine a little bit in the world of surgeons in particular, then I'm really, really proud of that fact. So thank you, Rod, and, and thank you all very much. Yeah, thank you, Harry, and, and we're, we're really proud of you, so thanks a lot for